Hi, Simon Jones here from fxhome.com. In today's PhotoQ video, I'm going to focus on setting up an auto export. It's a hugely powerful feature of PhotoQ 5 Pro once you know how to use it. So, what's it for? Say you're at a big event, but you've got a minimal crew. Auto export enables you to get everything set up, connect your camera, and let PhotoKey do all the work while you concentrate on taking photos. No user interaction is required, but when you get back over to your computer, you'll find all your composited images exported and ready to be printed or emailed to clients. Setting up an auto export requires three simple steps. Number one, the various toolset settings are used for all the photos during an auto export. So the first thing to do is set up your background, filters, effects, and any other settings exactly how you want them. You'll probably want to import a quick test photo using your setup to make sure everything is working right. Number two, in the import tool set, you can now switch on the use hot folder option. This will automatically grab photos from a specific folder on your computer. Make sure you set up your tethered camera to save photos into the same folder. That way, as soon as you take a photo, PhotoKey will automatically detect and import it. Number three, to actually start the auto export process, go to the batch export tool set and click auto export. You'll then need to select a different folder, which is where the exported images will be stored. Note that the auto export option is only available if you've already activated the hot folder system over in the import tool set. PhotoKey will now wait for photos to appear and as soon as it detects them, we'll start processing. You can hit the stop button at any point to return to the regular photo key interface. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions or feature requests, make sure you get in touch on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or over on the fxhome.com website. We do read every comment we receive, even if we're not always able to reply. We've got more videos coming up, so please do subscribe. And thank you for watching.